point, please. With the second round ties to be finalised, the fourth round at SW19 throws up some intriguing clashes and plenty of interest for a pumped-up British public buoyed by early success. With Djokovic and Federer safely through to the third round, attention switches to number two seed Rafael Nadal. The Spaniard survived an early scare against Thomas Bellucci to eventually win his first round tie in straight sets. Next up for the two-time champion is Wimbledon debutant Lucas Rizal. And perennial world number four, Andy Murray will ensure the union flags are waving when he takes on Iko Karlovic on centre court. The big serving Croats made it to the Wimbledon quarterfinals three years ago, but Murray has had an extra day's rest than his rival, whose first round clash rolled on to Wednesday afternoon. There will be further British interest when James Ward takes to court number one. His reward for reaching the second round for the first time is a clash against American Marty Fish, who's back for his first tournament since a half scare in April. Joe Wilfred Songa's finger injury didn't prevent a stylish first-round demolition of Leighton Hewitt. The Belgian number five seed takes on Spaniard Guillermo Garcia Lopez, who may not be the freshest after enduring a five-hour five-setter against Edouard Roger Vasselin on Tuesday. Garcia Lopez's compatriot David Ferrer may also be feeling the effects of his first-round clash against Dustin Brown, which only finished on Wednesday afternoon. The number seven seed is up against Frenchman Kenny Desheva, who's into the second round for the first time. In the ladies' draw, number two seed Victoria Azarenka is also back into action on court number two. The Belarusian has looked sharp this week and should be too much for Switzerland's Romina Oprandi, who's yet to make it past the second round of Wimbledon in three attempts. Four-time Wimbledon champion Serena Williams takes on Hungarian Melinda Sink, who, like Williams, may have her best years behind her, but was ruthless in round one, only dropping two games against Sweden's Johanna Larsson. And after Heather Watson became the first British woman in 10 years to make it to the third round, Elena Baltaccia will hope to join her, but must defeat defending champion Petra Kvitova to do so. It will be an emotional moment for the 28-year-old Brit, who may be taking part in her last Wimbledon. While Britain's number one, Anne Kiotovong also has a chance to make it through, but she too faces a really tough challenge up against Italian Sara Irani, who made headlines recently by finishing as runner-up to Maria Sharapova at the French Open. After a rain-delayed Wednesday, thankfully the forecast is for sunny skies on day four. And with a great day's tennis to look forward to, make sure you check in again tomorrow.